Hi, I'm Tenyo Lashubowale. Here's your Channel CV Evening News Recap for April the 26th, 2022. A federal high court in Abuja has refused to stop the Senate from probing Nanladi Umar, chairman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal, over his alleged misconduct. Umar, in May 2021, instituted the suit against the Senate, challenging the power of the upper legislative chamber to probe the assault allegation against him. In March 2021, Umar was caught on video hitting a security man who had told him his vehicle was parked at the wrong space at a plaza in Abuja. The Department of State Services says it has uncovered plots by some groups to attack worship and public centres in the country. Spokesman of the DSS in a statement said the criminal gangs intend to form a coalition to attack select places during the holiday period. And Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo has said it will be a betrayal to Nigeria if he doesn't contest the presidency in the 2023 general elections. The Vice President spoke during a visit to Governor Rotimi Akiridolu and stakeholders of the All Progressives Congress in Ondo State. On the international scene, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson says Twitter must be responsible following its purchase by Elon Musk. The Prime Minister's comment comes amid concerns Twitter could overly relax content moderation policies under the controversial billionaire entrepreneur. And in sports, Real Madrid have agreed a deal to sign Chelsea defender Antonio Rüdiger when his contract expires at the end of the season. And that's the Evening News Recap. Visit ChannelsTV.com for details on these stories and more. I'm Tenyola Shibuale. Thanks for watching.